And there you go. This is the financial dashboard where you're going to be able to track your total balance with income and as well as with expenses. And once you have inputted all of these expenses, you're going to get an expense breakdown. You have your salary, you have rent, food, utilities, as well as freelance. And you can see that it even provided your spending in food category is 15% higher than last month. So this way you can add different transactions, whether that's an income or an expense. There was a profound project that we had covered a lot of times on this channel called GPT Pilot. Now, they have just recently rebranded and they added a lot more features to its arsenal. It's now called Pythagora AI. It doesn't just generate code anymore, as it can build full stack applications like CloudDev. In a way, it's a new CloudDev alternative that is a VS Code extension that you can get access to today. In essence, Pythagora is an AI-powered VS Code extension that builds, runs, debugs, fixes production-ready code, automated testing, and external documentation processing. Just take a look at this demo video, which showcases how Pythagora was capable of building this star history app where you can track the repository's star progress over the months in comparison to other repos. This was something that was developed by Pythagora from the back end all the way to the front end within a couple of prompts. Now, the main reason why I really wanted to take a look at Pythagora is because of some of the exciting features that might be putting it ahead of CloudDev. Now, one of the features I wanted to mention is that it has the capability to create apps more than 10,000 lines of code, and it is constantly being improved upon. Now, this is something that is really great because Pythagora can build, run, debug, and fix production-ready code with the ability to use more than 10,000 lines of code, which is something that CloudDev might be a little faulty at. Not saying that it doesn't reach that same level, but this is something that I found to be really great with Pythagora. With Pythagora, you can see the type of quality of apps such as the LM evaluation tool that was created, a customer user management tool, or even a lens tool. These are all applications that were fully developed without any sort of human intervention. And you can see the time it spent as well as the lines of code that it was able to write and generate with the help of the new framework. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, GPT Pilot is their original project and Pythagora is their new product, which is only accessible by signing up for the early access waitlist. You can simply fill out this form and you will be able to gain access once they send out an email for Pythagora. Now, this is something that you can register with an account with after they give you access, and this will give you access to their extension. Whereas the GPT Pilot framework is their old previous framework that you can install locally and it can assist you in various ways. Now, I've made videos on this previously where it is capable of generating applications for you. So if you're interested in that, I can leave that in the description below. But today, we're going to be taking a look at the capability of Pythagora. To get started, you're going to need to gain access to their waitlist. Once you have that, you need to install VS Code for your operating system. Once you have that installed, you can simply open up VS Code. Once you have that opened up, what you want to do is go over to File, click on a new window. Once you have done that, you want to go over to the Extensions tab and you want to search up Pythagora. So you can simply search up Pythagora. And once you have done that, you're going to be able to find two different extensions. You have the Pilot Beta, which is for GPT Pilot, but then you have Pythagora version 1 early access. So what you can do is simply click on this, click on install. This will start installing this extension. Now I'll also leave a link to this in the description below so that you can uh, easily install it by simply clicking on this button, which will open it up in VS Code. Now, once you have installed this, you can then go over to Pythagora and you can then sign up or sign in with the account that you were given access to from the waitlist. After you sign in, it will then request you to select the installation directory for GPT Pilot. So simply select this. It will then start installing GPT Pilot onto your computer so that you can access this extension through VS Code. Once installed, you can start off by creating a new app. You can either even load up a previous app, but in this case, let's create a new one with Pythagora. We're going to start off by giving it a name, but you can see that you have the deployment tab, the logs, as well as the progress of your app being created and where it has been deployed. You can track all of these separate things. Now, let's start off by giving it a name. In this case, I wanna create a finance app. So let's give this a name, finance app. 
and then let's send it in. Next, we're going to need to describe as much detail for our application so that Pythagora can create it. So I'm going to go ahead and describe what I want to create. So I went along and I gave it a prompt to basically build out a sleek modern finance app that allows you to track your income and expenses with easy to read graphs. So let's go ahead and let's uh, now send this in. And in this case, you can also import your project at that stage as well as having the ability to load in an example project. But in this case, we can see that it's going to start off by having different agents check up on our prompt. So in this case, checking the complexity of your prompt, your project description seems to be a bit short. The better you describe the project, the better GPT pilot will be able to understand what you would like to build. Here are some tips. So the, it will also recommend a couple of tips. So in this case, it's going to start off by asking you a couple of things. What platform do you want the finance app to be developed for, such as web, mobile, or both? So let me describe it. I want it for web. Oh, let's go ahead and send this in. I want it for web. So you get a gist of it. You continuously work with the agents to build out your apps as they're continuously asking questions. And after it has used the spec writer agent to describe what sort of app you want to create, you can see that it's going to create a more detailed description of the prompt that will be sent over to Pythagora to create your applications, such as the technical specifications, the functional uh, functionalities of it, as well as the features. So and lastly, can you, it's going to ask you, can we proceed with the description to so review over it? In this case, let's say continue, and then let's have it start to generate this application. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this app, and I'll be back once it has finished. So I went along and I have set the Mongo database URL and it's going to start off by creating the task list for this project now. And as you're developing with Pythagora, you can see that it, you're going to be able to track the progress bar, which will showcase how much is left in terms of developing that final task that you have for that particular block. And there you go. This is the app that was fully developed where you have a dashboard. You're going to be able to track all of your income and expenses, which is something I'll showcase in a bit. You have all the transactions that you can log. You're going to be able to register. And it was able to develop all of these components on its own. It created authentication for you so you can register an account and you can simply log in with that account. And in this case, you're going to be able to track all of your income and expenses on the main dashboard, which I'll take a look at once I register an account. And there you go. This is the financial dashboard where you're going to be able to track your total balance with income and as well as with expenses. And once you have inputted all of these expenses, you're going to get an expense breakdown. You have your salary, you have rent, food, utilities, as well as freelance. And you can see that it even provided your spending in food category is 15% higher than last month. So this way you can add different transactions, whether that's an income or an expense, you can add the amount. So in this case, let's say uh, it's a hundred dollar increase or like, let's just say $2. Uh, let's say we got paid from YouTube. You can then add this transaction and it will then add it to our recent transaction list and it will make the changes to our income dashboard. Now, obviously, this is not fully intuitive yet. You can configure this further, but this is the basic capability that you can get from the main dashboard. Now, there's a lot more to this, but you can get a general idea as to how you're able to design different types of full stack apps with this new extension that could be a great alternative to Cloud Dev. Now, the only thing is you're going to need to pay for the API after you utilize a certain limit. Uh, what's best is if they allow access to other providers. Uh, in this case, it's powered by GPT as well as Claude, and they have their own API in which you can top up after you utilize the free $20 that is given to you after you have access to this version one epoch. But that's basically a gist of what you can do with Pythagora. This is something that I definitely recommend that you take a look at. It's completely free and you can get started with it today after you sign up for the free access. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions as well as our private Discord where we just simply talk about various things in the AI space. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. I'm constantly posting updates, so definitely give this a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from.
But that's basically it, guys. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.